EU faces being destroyed by forcing eastern states to take in refugees, Czech leader W. Arns. Andre Babas cautioned the bloc that pushing Czechs over the refusal to shelter asylum seekers could fuel a rise in extremist parties in the country. The EU's executive will sue Poland, Hungary and the Czech Republic in the bloc's top court for their refusal to host asylum seekers, Brussels said on Thursday. The European Commission accused the three countries of non-compliance with their legal obligations on relocation. The European Court of Justice, ECJ, could impose heavy fines, but may take up to many years to conclude. Speaking in an interview to the Provo Daily paper, Mr. Babas said, the European Commission can withdraw the charge at any moment. We have to negotiate on this and to offer different models, like guarding the borders or help to other countries. But we don't want any refugees. The Czechs have declined to shelter asylum seekers despite an overall drop in rivals due to tighter borders and projects beyond the EU's frontiers to discourage migration to Europe. Mr. Babas, whose government is due to be appointed by President Milo Zeman on December 13, will represent his country a day later at the EU summit, where European leaders will discuss migration. He said that by using on with the court case, the EU might embolden extremist elements. He said, the EU has to understand, that if it won't listen to our proposals, then the influence of extremist parties like, Germany's, AFTOR, Czech, SPD will grow, whose strategy actually is to destroy the EU. Despite his ANO party winning the parliamentary election by a landslide in October, it is unclear whether Babas will be able to win a confidence vote for his government by mid-January as required by the Constitution. He also faces the threat of prosecution in connection with his business interests. The far-right, anti-EU and anti-NATO SPD party and the Communists have lent ANO support in several initial votes in Parliament in return for committee posts for their members, raising the prospect that they may have some kind of agreement to back ANO. But Babas reiterated in the Provo interview that there was no deal in place and he would talk to all parties to either back the cabinet or abstain from the vote to help Anno win.